In this session, we're going to have a look at how you set up your GOMO hosting portal, part of your GOMO hosting platform. Uh, so GOMO Central is a great way to be able to deliver courses direct to your learners without the need for a full learning management system. So here I am logged into my GOMO account and I'm going to choose the GOMO hosting icon. And the first thing that we need to do is to go to the GOMO Central setup panel. So I choose GOMO Central towards the top left of the screen. And now I need to fill in some details about how we want the GOMO Central portal to look. The first thing that we have to do when you first uh, fire up your GOMO Central is to give it a name. This is the unique web address here that your learners will use to be able to access your GOMO Central portal. So here I've set one up called GOMO Demo and then .gomocentral.com. Now think carefully before you set, up the, set this up initially, because once you set this, it can't be changed after that. The other thing we need to do is to just give a title. Now, this is just the title that's going to appear in the browser tab, and you can change this at any time afterwards. The other thing that we need to do is to make your GOMO Central portal live. So we just click the, the live status to on there. If you don't switch it to on, then if learners try and access your GOMO Central web address, it will just say that that can't be found. And now we have the option here to be able to customize and brand the actual uh, GOMO Central portal. So what the learners will see when they access your GOMO Central. So we can add a logo here, which will appear on the logon screen. And we can just uh, upload that in the usual way, choosing the add file uh, button here. Uh, we can also put a background graphic as well. So this could be, uh, for example, some company imagery that you want to use. Again, this will appear on the logon screen. And there's some, some suggested sizes here uh, for you to make the, the background image. We can also then add an icon which is going to appear in the top bar once the learners have logged on to your GOMO Central. And we can also choose a background graphic which will appear behind the icon showing the different uh, courses that you have in your GOMO Central. The other options that we have here are whether we're going to require a login. So uh, if we don't require a login, that would mean that anybody who goes to your GOMO Central address uh, would be able to access the, the courses. So you could use this if you wanted to uh, put out into the public domain the courses that you're putting onto your GOMO Central. And so if I switch this on, though, I, I won't be able to access the courses in my GOMO Central until I've actually logged on. And on the right hand side here, we can also choose whether we're going to allow users to be able to register themselves. If I switch this to on, then it will mean that on the logon page, there'll be an option there for users to be able to register themselves and they'll receive uh, an email allowing them to set their password. If I switch this off, then uh, then people won't be able to self-register, that uh, you will actually register them within your GOMO Central portal. And we'll have a look at that in just a moment. So with the options I have here, with my GOMO Central URL, and the a different imagery that I've chosen for the portal, and the options I've chosen to say, yes, I do require a logon, but I'm also going to let users register themselves. Let's have a look at how that actually looks. So here I'm going to go to my URL, gomodemo.gomocentral.com. So here we are. This is what my learners would see when they access that URL. And here we have the logon uh, options. And including here, because I said that, uh, that users could self-register, I could actually here click that link and I'd be able to register myself. So uh, you can also see that uh, the logo that I selected in the GOMO Central setup is appearing there, as well as the background image here. And I've already got an account set up, so if I just log on here and click Login, that what I now see 
Here I've got uh, the icon that I specified in the Gomo Central setup and the background image here, and also the projects uh, that I've enabled to deliver via Gomo Central. And we'll be having a look at how you set up uh, projects to be used in Gomo Central in, in a separate support video. And I'd be able to just launch any of these uh, courses. I'd be able to run the course and the uh, or the scoring and analytics and my journey through the course would be recorded back in Como Analytics. So if I just go back here and let's just have a look at how you would set up users here. If, uh, if we weren't allowing self-registration. So at the top left, next to the configuration tab, we have the users tab. This is showing me all the users that I have actually registered in my Gomo Central. And here on the right-hand side, I can choose to uh, create new users. Now I can only either create users individually and assign them a password here, or I can choose to bulk register students by clicking import users. And from here, I can just use a, use a spreadsheet file. And if you need an example of the fields there to fill in, you can click on the example here and it will download for you a sample, a spreadsheet for you to be able to then fill in all your learners. And uh, once you've filled that in with their uh, first name, last name, and also their passwords, you can just click Add File, and then that will upload the file, and that will bulk register your users there. So that's how you go about setting up your Gomo Central.